On the 3rd of November 1963, a legend was born. Mr. Gershom Mudego Kibwana Onguso, born to the late Mr. Moses Onguso Mudome Kayanda and the late Sophia Bulimu Erawanya Onguso, he embarked on a journey that would make him the godfather of Kenya television drama. Kibwana's humble beginnings as an untrained teacher at Olenguruoni Secondary School laid the foundation for his commitment to excellence. He later honed his skills at the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication, where he was celebrated not only for his humility, but also for his boundless creativity. In our class, Kibwana was the father of drama in this country. He moved audiences on television. By the time we were leaving college, he was actually voted the best student in the class. Post-graduation, Kibwana's illustrious career with the Kenya Broadcasting Corporation saw him bringing to life iconic shows such as Tausi, Tahamaki, Kisulisuli, and Mahoka. <laughs> Moving on to Citizen Television, he continued his golden touch, producing acclaimed series like Papa Shirandula and Inspector Mwala. <laughs> Furthermore, as an independent producer, Nyundo Utosini stands testament to his versatility and vision. Urembo wako. <laughs> Beyond his achievements, Kibwana's true legacy is perhaps the myriad talents he nurtured over the years. Kibwana became a brother, a friend. Kibwana told me one thing. Kanambia uh, Bozingo, I always see you editing weddings. Where's the edit movie? So I took Nudo Utosini, once episode 5, to end. When I came here first uh, in Metro TV, uh, he was my immediate uh, boss, and uh, it was such an honor because he was such a fatherly figure. Renowned figures like Churchill, DJ Piera Makena, and Ken Ambani were all discovered and mentored by this maestro. His influence in their careers is a testament to his unwavering belief in nurturing talent. Kibana is my mentor. Everything I know about production, every program that I've produced is courtesy of Kibana. When I left college and joined KBC, very young, very naive in the field, Kibana took me and I was his production assistant in Kisulisu. It's so hard to say what Kibana was because he was everything. For me, Kibwana will always remain as a person who put together families, and not just families as in Yake. I remember Kibwana for his professionalism, the way he carried out his duties, the way he did his programs with a lot of dedication. Away from the limelight, Kibwana was a beacon of love and strength for his family. He leaves behind his devoted wife, Sarah Dalidi, their four sons, Luanga Masiva, Ngechu, Moses Onguso Jr., Victor Dalidi, and a cherished daughter, Angel Minaiwa. In Kibwana, we saw not just a producer, but also an educator, a devout Christian, and a family man of unparalleled stature. His legacy, like the timeless tales he told, will continue to inspire and resonate for generations to come. Rest in eternal peace, Kiongozi.